Hello. Hello internet, it's me again, uh, here to take you through some more ideas for Face the Play by Benjamin Zephyriah. So um, studying drama, it's really important that we're getting a real kind of clear visual idea of what's going on within each of these scenes. Um, the design question is really going to be asking you and testing you to see how well your your visualisation skills actually work within the play. So um, there's a couple of points to consider when you're looking at design. There are certain aspects of design that you can actually learn and revise before you've even um, read or know what the question is going to be. Um, so things like your um, staging, the way the kind of stage and, and uh, the, the backdrops and the way you're going to play certain scenes, this should be kind of the similar and this is these kind of discussions you should be having within your lessons and with your drama teacher. Um, the ideas that we came up with as a group uh, were pretty straightforward and very, very simple. We all decided on a thrust staging. We felt that thrust uh, staging would be appropriate because of the amount of breaking of the fourth wall that's going on within the play and also there's generally the amount of narration uh, there's lots of examples of when the street voices kind of come together as a chorus uh, it's you know all of their speech is going to be directed out to the audience and obviously narrative Martin plays a key kind of narrative function within the play so a thrust stage would allow all of these characters uh, to break the fourth wall and talk out to the audience um, due to the fact that it, you know you can break the fourth wall and also due to the fact that there are lots of different scenes that are kind of chopping back and forth between sort of past scenes and present scenes that's a classic example of what we would call like a montage approach to a performance so um, Brecht, Bertolt Brecht was a big um, kind of fan I guess of this idea of montaging plays and so this kind of non um, sort of non-naturalistic non-linear um, approach would again suit like a non-naturalistic staging design primarily inspired by Brecht. So um, Brecht would be your main practitioner when you're talking about this and it, you do have to in the question to um, sort of mention what kind of influences and what kind of uh, style of production you would take. So the style I believe is non-natural, uh, inspired by Brecht, I would use a thrust staging uh, that would allow my characters to break the fourth wall and narrate directly to the audience. Um, also because of the uh, themes because of the setting of the play the context of the play it is set um, in a city um, in London so we're thinking about like ideas to do with backdrops or possibly even projections that are going to reflect this city um, sort of uh, reflect this cityscape if you like and um, this urban kind of um, kind of atmosphere of the whole play so some of the ideas we had were things like um, a brick wall with um, graffiti uh, on it uh, to show that it's part of like an inner city kind of culture. Uh, we also considered the idea of like silhouettes of like a cityscape. So you could have things like you know, um, you know, Big Ben or like the the, the Shard or like some sort of other famous features of the um, London landscape that would uh, you could put on there. Um, we also thought the benefits of having a projector would mean that the backdrop could change depending on what scene it is in. Um, in Act One, um, we actually have like sort of three areas we've decided on for action and um, the first one would be the hospital scene which is a pretty constant like feature throughout the um, first act there's a lot of um, scenes where it cuts from one scene to that scene so we need the hospital bed to be uh, like stage left uh, we would then have the thrust of the stage that is protruding out being used for um, scenes like the club scene uh, scenes like the classroom scene uh, the um, car scene uh, all of these other scenes that it's kind of flicking back and forth from um, we thought that the uh, that the street voices could either stay um, on the thrust when they're um, delivering their narrative or possibly even sort of stand at the back in different areas um, as well. Um, we looking at the ideas of lighting, so we're trying to keep our lighting quite simple but we do need to use lighting um, within a good uh, response, design response. So we decided that on scenes that it was like um, kind of happy-go-lucky or sort of in the past scenes before Martin had had the accident, we decided on sort of bright um, general washes like white washes with maybe some red in there to just sort of show a nice warm feeling a nice kind of happy atmosphere before the crash um, we thought that an interesting scene to light would be the uh, club scene because the club scene's obviously got like loads of flashing tableaus and sort of all these other things that you would expect to see in a club um, we also thought that the um, the hospital scene Primarily in the first act, the hospital is quite a sad kind of setting and quite a sad kind of scene because you've got like present Martin in there, he's all broken up and he doesn't know what's going on. So we thought like ideas like uh, blue lights 
uh, green lights, like those kind of cold colours to create that kind of sad, sombre mood uh, within those scenes would be really good and would be a nice juxtaposition for some of the kind of brighter, more well-lit scenes where everyone's having a good time and it's kind of happy, kind of nostalgic feelings going on. Um, so there are some ideas for you with regards to um, uh, set design. I have by no means kind of covered all the bases. I really think that design is a uh, really sort of important one, a really good one for you to like engage your ima imaginations with. Um, it, I would, I just have to recommend strongly for you to put down onto a piece of paper your ideas. So get your, get your thrust design kind of set up on there, or whatever kind of stage design you think would be most appropriate, and then start looking at what scenes are happening in the extract that you're looking at. So we've only really looked at this point at the um, sort of scenes in the first act and what we've realised is that there is a lot of split staging going on, there are scenes happening in the hospital and then there are scenes happening in the past and you need a set design that is going to allow you to go from one scene quickly to another scene and then quickly back to another scene and then also have some narration in it as well. So all of these things suggest to me a Brechtian approach and uh, if you need to know more about Brecht, I have put a link into the little box down there. Uh, if you're enjoying these videos, please subscribe. Uh, I'm going to be putting more up at least two a day um, between now and the Unit 3 exam. So, thanks very much. Ah.